Now, Microsoft has been tightening their grip on their operating systems really ever since Windows 10. And they want you to have a Microsoft account linked to the operating system. And they want it to be mandatory. It shouldn't be. It really, really shouldn't be. They should give you an option at the beginning of the installation to have a local account or a Microsoft account. There will be lots of people that want a Microsoft account, and I can see use cases to have, obviously, a Microsoft account, but it should not be mandatory. So before the Windows 11 25H2 update, you used to be able to go during installation, Shift F10, go into the command prompt and enter bypass NRO, and that would basically give you the option of creating a local account. But that's, that's no longer the case. But good news, there is a workaround. Now, I will link you to this video, and Chris Titus here is talking about how you can still bypass the Microsoft account even with the Windows 11 25H2 update. So let's jump into this now. Before the 25H2 update, all you would need to do during installation is go Shift F10, then in the command prompt, you would enter bypass and a row, restart, and you'd have the local account option. But now, while it's a similar procedure in a way, during installation, you go Shift F10, then in the command prompt, you enter this, what's on the screen here, start space ms dash c x h colon local only. Now, this reportedly also works with Windows 11 Home and Pro, including 24H2 and the 25H2 update. Now, I am recording this as of April the 8th, 2025. So if you are watching this video in the future and this particular workaround doesn't work for you, do a search because I am sure people like Chris Titus and others we'll have a new workaround. So this is really a cat and mouse situation, right? Microsoft does this, and then people like Chris Titus, well, they do that, and they find workarounds. And I suspect this is the way it's going to be for a very, very long time. It will be a lot simpler for us, people who purchase Microsoft operating systems, if Microsoft had a couple of options at the beginning of the installation, a local account or a Microsoft account. You can choose whichever one you want. And for most people, I suspect if you give them that option, the majority of people will just click Microsoft account. They will. The techies, the gamers, people like that might choose to have a local account. So Microsoft, give us the option or maybe just, you know, add another $10 to your operating system and call it Microsoft 11 local account options included. I don't know. What are your thoughts on this?